Fables and Fashion presents the final Halloween chapter for 2012. A Soulless Ventriloquist Doll. Let's begin. First, I want to start on the sculpting. A doll tends to have very defined and plastic-like features, so extreme contouring is going to help us achieve this appearance. We want to really work the bronzer into our hairline so that the contouring appears more seamless. Make sure to sculpt your cheeks, nose, forehead and chin. If you're new to contouring, the best way is to follow the natural highs and lows of your face. Add some of the powder below your eyes. This will give the appearance of bulgier eyes. Just make sure to keep the shading concentrated and neat. Fake a higher crease to make your eyes appear larger. And use a brown eyeliner pencil to deepen the colour. Now start by applying a red blush to the apples of your cheeks and really concentrate the colour just on your apples, almost like you're creating two circles on your cheeks. Then take a white highlighter and apply it to your cheekbones, bridge of your nose, forehead and chin to enhance the contouring. Time for the eyes. Take a white cream eyeshadow and apply all over your lids up to your crease. Then to set, pat on a white eyeshadow powder all over your lid. Apply a white eyeliner pencil to your waterline to help open up your eyes. Then take a black eyeliner pencil and with an angled brush, apply it to your upper lash line to give the illusion of thicker lashes. Next, curl your lashes and apply a generous coat of black mascara. Before we apply the false lashes, take a blue shadow and draw vertical lines on your eyes like so. Then fill in your brows with a dark brow pencil. Now apply a pair of false lashes to your upper lash line. And once again to your lower lash line. Take a red lip liner and outline the shape of your lips. Then take a dark red lipstick and fill in your lips. After that, take a brighter red lipstick and apply it to the center of your lips to give it more dimension. Finally, with a brown eyeliner pencil, draw mouth lines down the sides of your lips. And to create some shadows, take a brown matte powder and smudge out the lines towards your lips. And the look is complete! Thanks for watching another chapter from my book of fables. Hope you guys have an awesome Halloween. Let me know what you'll be up to on Halloween and whether you plan to trick or treat or not. Be sure to subscribe for the next chapter. Until then, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!